In with the News 4 Investigates exclusive. This builds off judges and St. Louis's circuit attorney keeping tabs on accused criminals out on bond. In just the last few minutes, News 4 has confirmed this woman, AWOL, after cutting her bond tracker off, is back on GPS tracking while still remaining free. That woman's actions are tied to this recent incident outside of St. Louis High School. Security camps caught her opening fire on kids. Despite being on a monitoring device again, that suspect has already fallen through the cracks. News 4 investigator Susan L. Corey digs into this case as more questions are being asked about how bond is being handled in the city's courts. School pickup turns violent in downtown St. Louis as security cameras capture a woman shooting at teenagers while a principal tries to take the gun away. All of this happening on a street full of high schoolers outside Confluence Preparatory Academy. Oh, got News 4 investigates obtained new video of the December 2022 shooting, showing a principal and security guard trying to hold the woman down. Oh, she got up. That woman is 20 year old Sierra Waylands. She's charged with multiple felonies and is currently walking free. At first, Waylands was denied bond. But within a week, Judge Clinton Wright released her and put her on 24-7 GPS monitoring. Over the following weeks, court records show Waylands broke bond multiple times until January 24th, where it marks strap tamper. News 4 investigates learned Waylands cut off her ankle monitor and the courts don't know where she is. But they were warned when it first happened. We found this letter. It's from the company the city pays for monitoring, telling the judge that Wayland's device was disconnected. It's serious because you don't know where this person is. St. Louis University law professor Anders Walker says tampering with court monitoring can lead to new charges. How serious is that? So that is a class D felony, which could be over a year in prison. Uh, an automatic or should be automatic warrant for arrest. Waylands's phone is disconnected. Her defense lawyer tells us he knew a month ago that Waylands threw away her ankle monitor. He claims Waylands was being threatened and said she's now going to get a new monitor. If you're defending someone and they violate bond, that's a problem. So you should really get them to put that bracelet back on and make it clear, don't do this. It's just going to be harder for you going down the road. It took weeks for prosecutors to notice they just filed a motion to revoke bond. Instead of putting out a warrant for Waylands' arrest, Judge Rochelle Woody has set a hearing for next month. With the circuit attorney's office recently facing heightened attention for how it handles bond, Walker doesn't think the timing is a coincidence. The pendulum is swinging back. So we went way in the direction of criminal justice reform, let everybody out. Now we're starting to see the ramifications of that. And I think people are going to start getting tougher on crime. We reached out to the St. Louis Circuit Courts, but we're told judges won't comment on anything to do with the pending case. We're continuing to ask the courts and prosecutors where the responsibility lies to hold people accountable when they break bond. We'll be following what happens in this case. Susan L. Corey, News 4 Investigates.